illustrate the idea a little bit further. Suppose you marry someone and you promise on your wedding day you give your vows and you say, I promise to love this person for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. But there you are on your wedding day and you're making that commitment. Those are just words that are coming out of your mouth. Now the promises that are being made, that's a good promise. And you really believe that you mean that. But the reality is as those words are coming out of your mouth, as you're making those vows, it hasn't been put to the test. It hasn't been tried. Even on your honeymoon, in most cases, it still hasn't been tried. Those vows are just words. As long as everything's going well, as long as everything remains for the better, for the richer, and in good health, then the reality of the vows that you made will not have been tried. They will not have been put to the test. But after you've been married to the individual for a little while, and you start to learn her annoying habits, and she starts to learn yours, then you begin to realize, hey, this isn't some angel in disguise. I've married a fallen individual. I've married somebody who needs the Lord. I, I've married somebody who has fallen that they're not perfect. And then it's at that point where you start to put a little bit of reality in your situation. But even then, it's still just a small amount of reality. It's not until things become substantially for the worse. It's not until things become substantially for the poor. It's not until things have to endure some long-term sickness and illness inside of your life. Let me ask you this. If he loses his job or his ability to work, are you still going to love him? If you find out that she's quick-tempered and she has a sharp tongue, are you still going to love her? When he's in a wheelchair, are you still going to love him? When, she, when she's confined to a bed and you have to change her bedpan, are you still going to love her? What about this? When they've got Alzheimer's and they don't even remember your name anymore, are you still going to love them? Did you marry this person in order that they might meet your needs? Or did you marry them in order that you might meet their needs? Because it's in these times of trials and suffering that those vows are going to be put to the test. 